In this week's Retro Pop Culture News, The Wonder Years is being reboot. We have some Ready Player 2 news, and check out this new Pac-Man watch. And we have a lot more to talk about, so don't turn that down. Uh. <laughs> what up to my peoples, and welcome to Retro Crunch, your number one source for retro pop culture and news. In my favorite story of the week, ABC announced that they're working on a new Wonder Years reboot. And this time it's going to feature a black family that's living in the 1960s. The original Wonder Years is about a young boy in his coming of age years along with his friends and family in the 1960s, which is considered to be one of the most tumultuous and divisive decades in the U.S. This reboot is going to focus on a black middle class family in Montgomery, Alabama for this turbulent time in the late 1960s. The series is going to have the original star Fred Savage as the director and executive producer on the show, which I think is really, really cool. Hopefully with him at the helm, this reboot is going to, reboot is going to be able to capture some of that same appeal and fun that we really enjoyed from the original series. I think it's time for this series, and I think it's going to be a really cool thing to have the perspective of a black family uh, in the 60s and be able to depict what life was like for a black kid. A few things that I want to find out more about on this series is, is the boy going to be named Kevin or are they going to use a girl for this new series? Also, the theme song from the original show was awesome, so they're really going to have their work cut out for them. Uh, maybe they'll do some kind of remix or something with the old theme song and that'll give it a lot more appeal, I think. It looks like ABC is all in on producing this show and there is a really good chance that it's going to be made, but I want to know what you think about it. Let me know if you're going to watch it in the comments down below. Then in our next news story, this is probably my second favorite news of the day, uh, there's a movie that's coming out called Man and Witch, and it has some real 80s vibes going on. It's going to star the girl who was the childlike empress from The NeverEnding Story, Sean Astin, who you guys should remember from The Goonies, and of course, Christopher Lloyd, Doc Brown himself. The film is described by the producers as a heartwarming homage to the lo-fi fantasy films of the 1980s and a comic adventure that both fulfills and subverts the expectations of what a fantasy universe can be. Stonich, who played the childlike empress in The NeverEnding Story, she's going to play a reclusive yet powerful and mysterious witch who loses her heart to a hapless goat herd when he hires her to break a curse by an evil wizard. The movie has not announced a release date yet since it's so early in the news right now, but once I find out more, I'll let you guys know. Then if you're into Ultraman like I am, you got to keep an eye out for over 1,100 episodes that are going to be coming to Shout Factory in the coming months. It looks like there's going to be more than 12 different Ultraman shows and 20 movies that are going to be added to the streaming service real soon. That is a giant chunk of Ultraman that covers much of its wide and vast history from the 60s all the way up to today. So if you've ever wanted to get caught up on the original Ultraman and those series that followed, now's your chance. Next, there is a new trailer for Pretending I'm Superman that is a documentary about a video game series called Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. And Sylvester Stallone says he's working on a director's cut for Rocky IV. This was my favorite Rocky movie of the whole series, so I am really anxious to see what changes Sly makes for this cut of the film. And if you don't know what a director's cut means, it's basically an edited version of a movie based on what the director really wants the audience to see, and not just on what was approved for the theaters. And then in some book news, Ernest Cline, who wrote the hugely popular book Ready Player One, he said that Ready Player Two is going to be ready to hit shelves in November. I love both the book and the movie Ready Player One, and if you have not read the book, I highly recommend it. It is full of 80s nostalgia and tropes, and it is a really fun read. Then to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man, Timex has made a Pac-Man watch, and it's going to come in silver, black, and gold. This version has a Pac-Man inspired design on its face, and it plays the Pac-Man theme. And you can snag this watch right now at Timex.com for about 79 bucks. And then if you are into retro news and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I'll see you in the next video right over there. I'll catch you on the flip side. And remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.